Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to talk about one of the most ambitious and thrilling horror series of the year, The Fall of the House of Usher by Mike Flanagan. This eight episode series, which premiered on Netflix on October 12th, 2023, is loosely based on the works of Edgar Allan Poe, especially his short story of the same name. In this review, we will summarize the plot, analyze the main themes and messages, and explain why this series is a masterpiece of horror and drama. The fall of the House of Usher follows the Usher family, a powerful and wealthy dynasty that owns Fortunato Pharmaceuticals, a company that produces and sells addictive opioids. The patriarch, Roderick Usher, and his sister, Madeline Usher, are ruthless and corrupt business people who will stop at nothing to protect their empire and legacy. However, their past comes back to haunt them when a mysterious woman named Verna, who claims to be death herself, starts killing their bloodline one by one. As each death reveals a dark secret or a hidden sin, Roderick and Madeline are forced to confront the consequences of their actions and the curse that they brought upon themselves and their bloodline. The Fall of the House of Usher is a masterpiece because it combines elements of gothic horror, family drama, social commentary and allegory to create a complex and captivating story that explores themes such as greed, guilt, addiction, justice and mortality. Flanagan skillfully adapts and integrates Poe's stories and poems into the modern setting using references and symbols that fans of Poe will recognize and appreciate. The series also uses the Usher family as a metaphor for the opioid crisis, a serious public health problem that has affected millions of people in the US and Canada by the evil practices of big pharmaceutical companies, showing how their greed and corruption has caused immense suffering and death for millions of people. He exposes the hypocrisy and immorality of the Ushers, who claim to be philanthropists and benefactors, but are actually murderers and exploiters. He also showcased how their addiction to power and money corrupted their souls and destroyed their relationships. Each member of the Usher family has a different flaw or vice that leads to his or her downfall. The only Usher with more innocence is Lenore, who deserves a better fate. Flanagan also raises questions about the nature of death and justice, as well as the role of fate and free will. I hope you enjoyed this review of The Fall of the House of Usher by Mike Flanagan.